Good day everybody, it's Andrew here and welcome back to my channel. More big updates for seniors and the biggest question is, will there be a stimulus check for seniors in 2022? Will it be $2,000, $1,400 or $1,000? What's going on based off of everything we know? Is this actually going to happen? Will seniors get a stimulus check? And will there be a fourth stimulus check, period? Let's discuss the details, but before we jump into it, do me a quick favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and share this channel with anyone who you think might find this helpful. This is a community for seniors, and my job here is to be a voice for you and be a voice for seniors to make sure President Biden keeps his promise to increase Social Security benefits, increase SSI and SSDI, and even approve a stimulus check for seniors in this stimulus package. So my job is to be a voice for you and put together all the news that affects seniors when it comes to retirements, social security benefits, the stock market, the bond market, and everything in between. So thank you for being a part of our community. And if you want to really support our work, consider subscribing to my second channel. This is The Andrew Paolo Show. And on that channel, we're gonna have some updates as well, but we're also gonna have things like bingo and just general updates about the news that affects seniors. So if you want to subscribe to that, the link is going to be in the comments of this video, or you could also search The Andrew Paolo Show on YouTube. Now, if you really want to be a strong supporter, consider becoming a channel member. Now, channel members give a monthly donation, and this allows me to work full-time on researching news that affects seniors. And quick shout out to our most recent members, Ramona Upham, Karen Holland, and Amy Yim. Thank you all so much for your support, and if you guys would like to become a member, all you have to do is click on the link that's in the comments of this video, and when you become a member, not only do you support our community and allow me to do this full time, but you also get shout outs on my videos and priority response to comments. So with that said, folks, thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're going to talk about whether or not there's going to be a fourth stimulus check, whether or not there's going to be a specific stimulus check for seniors, whether that be $2,000, $1,400, or $1,000, based off of everything we know today. And we're also gonna talk about stimulus checks that are going out in 2022, based off of things that were approved in the previous stimulus package. So before we jump into it, let's do a quick update on trending news. This will be really brief. I just wanna say one thing that really upsets me is that there are states out there that have funding for people who are low income and they literally refuse to spend it. See, this article is titled, Welfare Funds Going Unspent as Pandemic Increased Poverty is a Moral Outrage. Now, the bottom line here, folks, is there are some programs already set aside from the federal governments, and they give funding to states to use this money for people who are, who are low income, whether this is people who have kids, people who lost their jobs, people who need money for food, like SNAP benefits, things like that. There are literally states who get hundreds of millions of dollars, and then they don't spend the money on purpose. So let's take a look really quick. Now, this article highlights Texas and the fact that they are one of four states that denied 90% of this funding. Now, this funding is called Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. And what this does is it provides temporary financial assistance that you can use to pay your rent, put food on the table, get groceries, pay your utilities. And some states like Texas, they make it so impossible to qualify. In order to qualify, you have to have less than $1,000 in assets and literally make less than $188 per month. So because they make it so impossible to qualify, they deny almost every single applicant. And at the end of the day, they had an additional $281 million that the federal government gave to Texas to help people who are low income, but they honestly just didn't do it because they purposely make it impossible to qualify. I mean, $188 per month, that is completely ridiculous. It shouldn't be that hard to qualify. Anyone, even if you're single, if you make less than about $1,400 per month, you're already living in poverty. So why do you have to make $188 per month or less to qualify? It's completely ridiculous. And basically states like this 
are purposely making it impossible to qualify for these low-income stimulus payments, folks. So I just wanted to let you know this is something we're going to focus on my channel is spreading the word on this and trying to make sure this kind of stuff comes to an end because the stronger our voice is, the stronger we can tell people, hey, this is not okay and this needs to change. And folks, let me know in the comments if you agree. That money could have helped hundreds of thousands of seniors, people who are disabled, or just low-income people in general. So with that said, folks, let's jump right into today's update. Will there be a fourth stimulus check? Will there be stimulus checks for seniors? How much could they possibly be? And let's also cover stimulus payments that already are going to go out in 2022. Now, this is a good example of why seniors should be getting stimulus checks because one stimulus payment that is going out is back paid stimulus payments for those monthly child tax credits back to 2021. Now, if you remember how that plan worked, Parents with kids got monthly stimulus payments for six months, I believe from July to December. So it was only six month of pay monthly payments. And then the previous six months, January to June, those payments were going to be are going to be paid in a lump sum when they do their taxes this tax season. So that means a family with one child, let's say they have a two-year-old child, they're going to get $300 per month for six months, the first six months of 2021, in a lump sum payment, meaning they're gonna get $1,800 as a lump sum back paid stimulus payment just for having one kid in 2021. That is such a massive stimulus payment. So when we have millions of parents that are gonna get $1,800 in a lump sum back paid stimulus payment, why shouldn't seniors get a $2,000 stimulus payment as well? And let me know in the comments if you agree. And again, that's only if they have one kid. If they have two or three kids, they're gonna get even more. Some people are gonna get like $6,000 in a back paid stimulus payment. And that doesn't even count parents who just had the child in 2021. Because if you think about it, if someone had a child, let's say in July, that child wasn't registered with the IRS, so they're actually gonna get the entire year stimulus payments as back pay. So just for that one kid, they're gonna get over $3,000 in a back paid stimulus payment. Not to, And that's just for the monthly stimulus payment for kids. That's not even counting the third stimulus check, because if you had a kid in 2021, you're gonna get the third stimulus check. Remember, the $1,400 third stimulus check, which was approved in March, they're gonna get that as back pay as well. Meaning that just from the one kid, they're basically gonna get like $5,000 as a back paid stimulus payment. So let's sit here and think about it for a second. Families need help, people with kids need help. There's no doubt about that, especially those who are low income. But then we have seniors who need help as well. So we, if we have parents getting a basically a $5,000 back paid stimulus payment, why is it a crazy idea to give seniors a $2,000 stimulus payment as well, especially when the petition for a $2,000 per month stimulus payment just is about to reach 3 million signatures. They're at 2,998,000 signatures. They're literally gonna hit 3 million signatures by the end of today. And again, we have all these stimulus payments going out. Parents are getting massive stimulus payments. So folks, it's my job here to fight for seniors and fight for those who are disabled. I have a lot of people in the comments who say, Andrew, what about those who are disabled? You're constantly saying seniors and you're right. Folks, I'm sorry, this channel isn't just for seniors, it's for people who are disabled as well because my job is to be a voice for you. Be a voice for the little person who Congress continues to ignore. So we're in a situation where families are getting these massive back paid stimulus payments. Congress continues to work on the next stimulus package. Bernie Sanders continues to fight for at least a thousand dollar debit card for seniors, AKA stimulus check, which could be used for anything where visa is accepted. And his reason for this is saying that seniors have higher medical expenses and higher effects due to inflation from this pandemic based off of medical expenses going up and things like utilities and rents going up as well. Now, Congress just came back from vacation and Chuck Schumer has promised to bring the stimulus package to a vote as soon as possible. So as negotiations continue, we should have a lot of updates on those details, 
But currently, let's talk about why we would get a fourth stimulus check. What are some reasons that are actually pushing us in that direction and making it more likely that this could actually happen? Well, a couple of things. First, it's going to be these midterm elections. Democrats know that approving stimulus checks worked. They helped them win those two Senate seats in Georgia, and they helped them win when Governor Newsom was up for re-election in California just in the middle of last year when he won that election. So Democrats know stimulus checks work. At the same time, we have Chuck Schumer who is saying he wants to change the rules on the filibuster to allow Democrats to get more things done as this gridlock Congress is slowing things down. And again, hurting Democrats in the polls. So if the filibuster rules are changed, and quite frankly, right now, Chuck Schumer is focusing on voting rights, but he's kind of setting the precedent where if they change how the filibuster works, it's going to change things when it comes to stimulus and social security benefits as well. Now, I won't go too deep into how this works because I talked about that in my previous video, but basically changing the filibuster rules would allow Democrats to essentially do multiple stimulus packages and multiple piecemeal deals, not just stimulus, but things like voting rights, social security changes, things like this, they wouldn't all have to be thrown into a budget reconciliation package once a year. They could do multiple smaller packages throughout the year that would only require a simple majority 51 votes in the Senate. So with this being the current thing happening, Chuck Schumer pushing to change the filibuster rules, to make things more easy for Democrats to get things done, that bodes well for the stimulus package, it bodes well for stimulus checks, and quite frankly, it bodes well for social security changes as well. Now, will these changes actually take place? We'll have to wait and see. It is an extreme measure, but it's been done before. Mitch McConnell did this to approve Supreme Court justices with former President Trump, and Barack Obama did this as well to appoint lower judges back when Barack Obama was in office. So Democrats are pushing to change the filibuster rules. They also have these midterm elections coming up, and things are looking really bad for Democrats. It's looking like Democrats are going to see a red wave, right? So the way things stand today, if the midterms took a place right now, Democrats would most likely lose control of both chambers, the House and the Senate. Now, when it comes to the Senate, Democrats can only afford to lose one seat. Otherwise, they're going to lose their majority control. And when it comes to the House, they can only lose four seats. Now, all polls show that currently Democrats would probably lose somewhere between five and 12 seats in the House and between two and six seats in the Senate. So the way things stand today, Democrats are set to lose control of both chambers, which would leave President Biden as a sitting duck for his last two years in office. Now, Democrats have acknowledged something needs to change. Of course, it's not just stimulus, it's how they're handling the pandemic, how they handle things in Afghanistan, how they handle things like voting rights and immigration. There's a lot of things at play, of course, but stimulus is one of the biggest issues. Stimulus continues to be one of the largest search terms on Google, meaning people want more stimulus. This is still a huge movement that people are pushing for. And again, it's been proven that stimulus checks work when it comes to helping Democrats win elections. If you take a look at this poll, guys, when it came to Governor Newsom in California, 62% of voters in California voted to recall Governor Newsom. That means that he wasn't even supposed to be up for re-election, and 62% of voters said, you know what, we want to do a recall election to bring Governor Newsom back and see if he can win. And that, that's a bad sign. When 62% of people were saying they wanted to re-vote, that was looking really, really bad. And all experts were saying that Governor Newsom was most likely going to lose that election. It was like a 75% certainty that he was going to lose. Well, then what happened is Governor Newsom approved a fourth and then even a fifth stimulus check in California, and those polls completely flipped. He ended up winning the election by about a 60% percentage vote of voters who voted for him. So this goes to show that approving stimulus checks works. It worked in California. It worked in Georgia. Democrats desperately need to fix their poll numbers, and President Biden has acknowledged that the American people need more help. Not to mention the fact that he promised to increase Social Security benefits, increase SSI, and increase SSDI as well. Then we have Bernie Sanders currently pushing for at least $1,000 stimulus check for seniors. Some groups are pushing for $1,400, and we even have some groups pushing for as high as $2,000. So with the midterm elections coming up in November, the petition for $2,000 stimulus checks is about to reach 3 
million signatures. Stimulus checks continues to be one of the most popular searched search term in this country. There is still a strong movement for stimulus checks. Democrats have acknowledged that approving more stimulus checks work. Bernie Sanders is pushing for at least a $1,000 stimulus check. And at the same time, Chuck Schumer is trying to change the filibuster rules to make it easier for Democrats to get more things done, like stimulus, social security changes, and other legislation like voting rights as well. Things are heading in the right direction, guys. We have a lot of good news, of course. Nothing is promised, and we all know that Joe Manchin continues to be the major roadblock when it comes to getting this stimulus package done. But in my opinion... I would say there's a really good chance we're going to get stimulus checks this year. What I'm hoping for is we get a specific stimulus check for seniors this month in this stimulus package. And then in November, before the next midterm elections, we get a nationwide fourth stimulus check for everyone. That would be our best case scenario. But again, guys, anything could happen. Negotiations continue, and we should have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. Chuck Schumer has said he wants to change the filibuster rule by this month, January 17th, if Republicans don't allow them to approve more stimulus and vote on voting rights reform. So we should have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will keep you posted as things develop. And if you made it this far into my video, consider becoming a channel member. All you have to do is click on the link in the comments of this video. It goes such a long way in supporting our work and allowing me to do this full time to bring you the news that affects senior the most. So guys, thank you so much for watching and until the next video, take care and have a great day.